Mm. Well, none of it is good, but no. when we're no. talking about what's what's going to happen with us, it's it's ice, which is sometimes a lot worse. Isn't right? that strange yeah. that uh, a storm that's producing blizzard conditions and tornadoes, mm -hmm. right. when it gets here, produces rain and ice? It's shifting a little bit, I yeah. guess. Okay. It, it, it's kind of a weird connection here, and yeah, we're going to get mostly uh, ice and rain out of this and, as opposed to snow, and I'm going to show you why. But okay. uh, here's a look at the big storm. This is a wide picture of the blizzard. Look at that. It's extending from the southern plains all the way into the Dakotas, the snow. And the winds are gusting in that snowstorm 40 to 50 miles per hour. So it's a legitimate blizzard. That's the definition of a blizzard. And then the southern part of it down here, that's the part that's producing the severe weather in Louisiana. They're still uh, producing tornadoes out of this storm system here. So how much snow are they going to get in the northern plains? If you look at the legend up here, this dark purple shade here, that's 12 to 18 inches of snow. And that's with the wind gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. So this is a big snowstorm out here and a little piece of the energy from that gigantic storm is going to travel across the country and develop an area of low pressure here in Maryland. And the problem for us is, if you want it to snow and not freezing rain and sleet, is this area of low pressure develops too far in inland. If you want it to snow, this has to be out here over the ocean. That way the cold air wraps around the top of the storm, both aloft and at the surface. When this area of low pressure is right here, we keep the cold air at the surface, but we lose the warm air aloft and you wind up with freezing rain and sleet, and that's not a good thing for the Thursday morning commute.